Nate Diaz's sparring partner, a world champion, makes bold prediction about Jake Paul fight. The UFC legend has cultivated a loyal fan base through his sensible approach to fighting, exceptional endurance, and unwavering determination. However, all of that stayed within the octagon, which is why Paul, 6-1, steps into the ring as the favorite in the betting odds. In preparation for the 10-round bout in Texas, Diaz engaged in several rounds of sparring with the WBC super lightweight champion, Regis Progrice. The 140-pound fighter, whose only defeat was against Josh Taylor by decision, praised Diaz's work rate in an interview with MMA Fighting. It was super tough. I already knew that. I knew Nate Diaz, I knew his reputation, so I knew it was going to be really tough. That's more or less what it was. We just got in there and faced off, trying to go at each other. Of course, I was impressed. I've sparred with many MMA fighters, spent a lot of time in Brazil, and their hands aren't that great. Nate Diaz's hands were pretty good. He's got a decent stand-up game. He's not at the level of a boxer, but for MMA, his hands are really good. That definitely surprised me, and he was just tough as nails. We definitely had a good sparring session. Despite the praises, Progrice can't overlook the size difference when it comes to Paul's fight. Diaz has competed at both 155 and 170 pounds in the UFC, with the latter being the weight he fought Conor McGregor at. Their fight this weekend is set at a catchweight of 185 pounds, one that both boxers made on the scale, but it gives Paul a significant advantage, being naturally larger. Progrice cites that as the influencing factor in his prediction. When it comes to size, Jake Paul is much bigger. He's a natural 200-pound person. If they were the same size, even if Jake Paul had maybe 10 pounds more than him, I'd give it all to Nate Diaz. If they were the same size, I'd give it to Nate Diaz, but the size difference is huge. That's a big, big difference. Paul seeks redemption after a loss to Tommy Fury, the first professional boxer he faced. If he doesn't succeed, a member of his promotion has indicated he might consider retiring from the sport he boldly entered. Question of the day, do you think size will make a difference in the fight between Jake Paul and Nate Diaz, as predicted by champion Regis Progrice? Or do you believe Nate's experience and determination can level the playing field? Share your thoughts in the comments and join the conversation. Don't forget to show your support. If you found this discussion intriguing, be sure to hit the like button on the video. If you're not yet part of our community, we invite you to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest news and in-depth analysis in the exciting world of boxing. And, of course, don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our thrilling updates. Thanks for being part of this thrilling boxing journey with us.